Hello, and welcome to They're a Super Geek. I'm Jeremy, and I'm here with my co-hosts, Miriam and Kristen. Tonight, we'll be playing our second uh, episode of Zheng Shi, Blood in the Banquet Hall. Uh, before we jump into the game, who are we? They Are Super Geek is an actual play one-shot live stream that highlights the voices of marginalized folks in the tabletop scene, uh, in the tabletop role-playing scene. Uh, we feature gender marginalized GMs and a diverse rotating cast. Joining us tonight is uh, Banana Chan, um, a game designer, writer, publisher, um, but I'm going to let them introduce themselves here in a minute. <laughs> Uh, so before we go uh, begin our game, let's go around the table and introduce ourselves. Uh, tell us who you are, where we can find you, what you're up to. Uh, so I'll get us started. I'm Jeremy. I use they, them pronouns. You can find me here every other week uh, with Tazgeek. Um, I am a uh, queer, non-binary educator, tabletop streamer, and baby designer. Um, so uh, also, uh, you might be able to find me making guest appearances wherever I can, uh, Transplaining RPG, Utopia, um, and on Twitter at Park Morper, where you can find me hyping my, uh, my queer, trans, and BIPOC fam. Uh, love y'all. So pass it off to Miriam. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Miriam. I use they, them pronouns, and you can find me on Twitter at media underscore junkie. And, um, yeah, I, I, I do a lot of things. You can find me streaming here every alternate Thursday. Uh, I also uh, run Kahania on Utopia, uh, which is a Monster of the Week campaign, which is alternate Sundays. We're in our last three episodes. Uh, actually, at this point, uh, <laughs> uh, we will, uh, I think we're actually close to our last episode. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's the, it's going to be exciting. And uh, uh, yeah, that's me. I can keep talking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I can keep listening, Miriam. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Kristen. She, her pronouns. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Kristen is no Jedi. Uh, I'm a game designer, writer, podcaster. I do this wonderful stream with my wonderful co-hosts on alternate Thursdays, as Jeremy mentioned. Um you can also follow uh, my podcast, which is powered by the players at PBT players on Twitter. And um, for my game design um, at Dice Up Games on Twitter or at diceupgames.com, um, I have a bunch of little games, some hacks of lasers and feelings that are pretty fun, including a one um, where you play knights and squires and you get bonus points if you use a British accent. So just fun little games. And then also North Sea Epilogues, which is a Viking role playing game, um, all which I co-designed with my partner. Um, yeah, I'll pass it off to our, our uh, guest GM, Banana. Hi, thanks for having me again. Uh, I am Banana, she, her, they, them pronouns. I am the owner and co-founder of a small board game slash RPG publishing company called Game and Curry. Uh, I write games, I design games. Uh, some of my latest games have been in the banquet hall uh, and I did a little bit of writing for uh, the latest Ravenloft and I was also a lead haunts writer for uh, Scooby-Doo Betrayal at Mystery Mansion. Uh, coming up on the docket next is Deimos Academy by myself, Austin Knight, and Amanda Call, uh, which is a horror coloring book tabletop RPG. Uh, it is very weird <laughs> and it is uh, GM-less as well, so it's highly collaborative. And I'm very excited to be here. Awesome. So I guess I'll take it away uh, from where we left off. Uh, does anyone want to, I guess we could go around and give like a quick summary each of where their character uh, left off last time. So oh, yeah. let's pretend we're doing like a previously on The Walking Dead show. Uh, uh, previously <laughs> on um, John Shipp won the banquet hall. <laughs> um, Miriam, what happened to your character? And what's your character's name? Yeah, so my character's name is uh, uh, Julia, or I'm going to try to pronounce it, uh, Hu Tong. Is that correct? Hu Tong, yeah. Hu Tong. Uh, and uh, I am the mother of uh, Sam and the daughter-in-law of uh, Mary. And uh, 
we we were just minding our business just making noodles just uh having and trying to have a normal day in our restaurant when the shady character comes in and uh then officer perry comes in and then there's a little birthday party from the dogs coming in and then somehow there's suddenly jiangxi everywhere and lizards <laughs> and um officer perry becomes a jiangxi and then we have to toss him out the wind <laughs> toss him out the back door because we're trying to just try not to die yes <laughs> it's been an interesting day it's been an interesting day Kristen uh tell us about yeah. your character and uh what's your summary like yeah um so I'm playing um Sam Wong who is um they then pronounce who um is the daughter of Julia um and grandchild of Mary and uh Wow. Sam started off the day by letting a customer in early and making an extra hundred bucks, which they thought was just fantastic. Turns out that guy was creepy. Um, and later tried to what Sam thought was like eat an officer, which isn't actually what happened. That's just what Sam was thinking. Um, yeah. So Sam spent their day dealing with officer Perry who came to collect money. Um, and also with some really drunk tongs that are the best tonging ever, by the way. Um, and then they think that their grandma was talking to their dead grandpa and tried to say hi, but grandpa didn't respond. So I don't know what that's about. Uh, yeah. So I think now Sam is just going to look towards their elders for a little bit of guidance because hopping vampires what so awesome and jeremy tell us about your character grandma and uh what are things looking like for you yeah um so uh my character uh is the grandmother in the family uh Wai Long, um or mary um and uh, let's see what what did happen with me. Um, uh, I got frustrated that my uh, my my grandchild was was not prepping the meat properly, but that's all right. I got it taken care of, and then I um, the my uh, my deceased and beloved. Um, the grandfather Wong, Grandpa Wong, um, uh, tried to make a phone call to me, but made a mistake and dialed the wrong number because he's just as useless as he always was when he was alive. <laughs> um, and I mean, there's a reason why I helped run things a lot more than he did. Um, but uh, um. I, but he ended up eventually making a connection. When I called him back, we made a connection and we talked a little bit and uh, he let us know that, yeah, that uh, a little more about what's going on, the Jiangsha are being summoned to try and attack this uh, local politician. It's being summoned by a demon politician. And we, um, we might have to, we might have to do something to help out with that. Oh, and I have a lizard friend in my pocket. Um, and I, yeah, we uh, name the ooh, it will have a name. Okay. Excellent. It will have a name by the, by the time you see it next. Um, so I've got a lizard friend and I, uh, prove myself to be the most capable, um, in uh, dealing with the Jiangsha, uh, uh, resident badass. I can say that. Can I say that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we haven't been given any directive that we can swear, but I think, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Also, I don't think <laughs> ass is a bad word. No. Cool. All <laughs> right. Well, I'm just being like ass, ass, ass. <laughs> All right. The rest of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> ass, ass, ass. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I was the resident badass, uh, chain smoking badass. True. And I. I'm still not sure. Um, oh no, I think we made the right choice. We we did not end up managing to heal the police officer, and I think I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. He was a jerk. He was an ass, um, <laughs> and so we he turned into a vampire and we threw him out the door. I'm very Bye -bye. happy with that choice. 
Bye bye, Officer Perry. <laughs> so the restaurant oh, is sorry. safe I'm for now. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. We thought the restaurant was safe until. Cats. <laughs> yes. There's some cats in the back alley having a fight. Happens. Oh. <laughs> I hope those cats are okay in that back alley. <laughs> so uh, we are back at the restaurant. We've had somewhat of a good sleep, hopefully. Uh, the tongs did uh, end up sleeping on the floor in the restaurant because they got a little too drunk and they just needed somewhere to crash for the night. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to ask each of you to roll one D four. Okay. And you're going to tell me uh, how much you rolled. Okay. Three. I got a one. Three. All right. So let's start with, uh, let's start with Sam. So Sam mm -hmm. on uh, slide number four, Go ahead and take three random uh, Hmong cards on the left-hand side. Oh, I could spend all day here trying to pick because of the pretty backgrounds. Nice. But I won't, don't worry. Okay, <laughs> uh, one more, sorry, sorry. It's all good. You're okay. Gonna you're going to copy and paste those over to your character sheet. Okay. And uh, Jeremy, go ahead and pick three cards and do the same thing. Copy and paste those to your character sheet. And finally, Miriam, go ahead and uh, take one and copy and paste it to your character sheet. If there are any that you do not like, uh, please feel free to. Um, Ooh, that's it, ominous. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so once they're on our character sheet, we can look at them. Yes, go ahead okay. and uh, look at them on your character sheet. And before uh, we get started into the actual gameplay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. get into some quick content warnings for everyone who's just catching up now. So uh, for this game, uh, our content warnings are the supernatural murder of ritualistic sacrifices, cults, racism from police, uh, though that's sort of veiled, um, annoying gangs, and a lot of lizards. So that's what you have to look forward to in this game. Uh, okay. So let's start off with Kristen. So uh, on your character sheet, uh, you should have three cards. I cannot flip them over. I apologize. How do I flip them over? Oh, no, you don't have to flip them over. Um, oh, oh, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, Keep okay, them on your character I do. Sheet. Uh, I think you have Got one em. more, right? Yeah, I'm copying it now because somehow I deleted it. It's fine. I'm, I'm tech savvy. It's fine. It's all good. There we go. Got it. So... Any cards that you have, any monk cards that you have that are in color are actually really good dreams. Uh, any black and white cards are actually your bad dreams. So okay. bad dreams cover up the first uh, few slots of your character sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, so for Kristen, you had uh, one bad dream and mm -hmm. two good dreams. Uh, tell us about what the dreams looked like for Sam. Both good and bad? Both of them, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that, uh, it Sam has a, a dream that is them walking, um, walking through like a forest and the sun is shining on them and they just feel, it's more of a, like a feel dream than a visual dream. And they just feel like at peace. And, um, and then I think as they're walking, they end up in the kitchen of the restaurant and, um, grandma is there and dad is there and they're both very disappointed in them and you know not learning Cantonese just normal family stuff so Sam feels upset um and then I think it ends with a flying dream which is Sam's favorite I think that's what in helps inspire their um artistry is when they have flying dreams so just flying over pretty scenery 
So you get to keep the two uh, two cards in color if you want okay. uh, anywhere on your character sheet that doesn't really matter okay. uh, but the one that's in black and white that goes over your first uh first slot so where it says one that's uh-huh. covered up so you no longer can use your everyday item which is a sketch pad and you're missing one hour of work oh okay all right so now on to jeremy so uh y lamb um You have three cards. Uh, So you have three dreams, two good and one bad. Uh, Take us through what it looks like for your dreams. Yeah. Um, So uh, it starts out um, and I'm uh, actually, I'm hanging out with, I'm holding my lizard friend. um, And I set, I set, uh, I set my um, uh, Annie the Anole down into the water um, and she turns into this turtle um, and I'm watching this turtle swim around in the water um, and it's really peaceful. Um, And then it's kind of one of those dreams where like perspective changes, like Mm -hmm. for me, it's from my perspective and then it's kind of zooming out. Um, And there's just a really kind of beautiful um, landscape uh, with uh bamboo and with mountains in the background um and uh, a phoenix flying through the sky and it's, it's um again all really exciting and peaceful um or relaxing and peaceful but then the things start to kind of the color starts to fade and the the mountains start to um shift in terms of what they look like um until they start to look like teeth um and so these, uh, they start to look like teeth and they start to kind of shake uh, and they start to, um, the, they start like coming out and rem- falling out of where they're supposed to be. Um, and uh, it, it, it kind of ends with this image of, um, uh, of, uh, of me feeling like my, my own teeth are, are falling out. Um, yeah. And so it ends really unpleasantly. All right. So you're going to take that card and you're going to cover up your first hour of work and you can no longer use your cigarettes, unfortunately. <gasps> Grandma is going to be in a mood today. <laughs> Got to stay away from them. I heard they're bad for my teeth. That's probably why I was having this dream. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, Hoi Tong, you only had one dream last night. But it was a bad dream. What was it? Oh, yeah. Um, I think just there's this whole anxiety of things going wrong the minute my husband's not here and just I'm to blame for everything. And um, also just the specter of a dream of uh, we got rid of Officer Perry at our house and hopefully with ran off with all the other Jiangxi. But what if... Officer Barry remembers us mm. and comes back and shuts our restaurant down or arrests us. That card over to your first slot. Uh, yeah. And now you can no longer use your broom. I think it uh, didn't survive very well from uh, from being used as a weapon versus it's as a tool to clean surfaces. Oh. oh no! And unfortunately, you still have to do your chores in the morning to maintain the restaurant. So, let's go back to slide three, and each of mm-hmm. you are going to take out two cards again. Uh, like before, I'm going to clear these old ones off to the side. Oops. Let's go ahead and take out uh, two cards. And we're going to do the same thing that we did uh, the, on the first day. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's go around uh, starting with the youngest. So um, Sam, what do you have for your uh, on the docket for you today? 
So today I have to prep dessert, which is going to take me three hours. And I also have to make the rice, which will take me one hour and also cost me stress because I imagine I'm going to be hearing how I'm not making the rice correctly. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Hoi Tung, uh, what are you doing today? I will be making advertising, which is about three hours, and then decorating the restaurant two hours. I feel like perhaps uh, I'm a little sh shook and uh, can't really focus on food, especially I also lost a lot of rice last night. Mm. And I don't want to deal with it. And I'd rather just uh, focus on considering, you know, somehow everybody seems to think Jimmy Walker likes coming here. Maybe cash in on it and, and maybe get more customers in. And finally, uh, Grandma Wong, what are you doing today? So uh, I've got to get the mother sauce ready. Um, so doing some, some kitchen prep work and then, uh, which was, was going to take an hour. And then I also have to add a lot of items to the lost and found with everyone who ran out of here suddenly. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot that just needs to be kind of accounted for. Um, so I'm putting all that stuff in the lost and found. Um, uh, it's only two hours worth of work. Um, Maybe they'll give me time to to think about things. I can trade things, right? You can trade things if you want to trade anything with someone else. Yeah. Um, I think knowing that our clientele is mostly predominantly English speakers, I think it probably doesn't make sense for me to do the advertising. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, so I, um, I, I think I see that... Uh, uh my tongue is like seeming to shy away from some of the the food um and prep things and and, and i know that some of these are, are things that she she sometimes gets a lot of joy out of um or really um and so i ask you i say by um uh my my uh hands aren't, aren't feeling as great today would you mind making the mother sauce like i i'll go out and decorate the restaurant um and I, I initially want to um, object, but then I see what that uh, I'm being trusted with the mother sauce because the mother sauce is mm -hmm. always made by the mother of this house, uh, the grandmother. So I take it as a sort of, I, I take that gesture, I get the gesture and I say, okay, I can do it. Um, and point at the decorations I had set out to go put up. That's really sweet. Um, mm -hmm. So Jeremy, I'm gonna give you one D8 for <laughs> your own, uh, as an individual die uh, that you could use to spend. Um, so once you spent it, that's spent, um, but you roll it you know, with the rest of uh, the other dice. Also, because it is the second day, because of how stressful yesterday was, your dice pool is now down to four d8s instead of five d8s. Okay. My, my mini Ooh, dice man. goes away. Bye, yeah. mini dice. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's start with um, let's start with Grandma. Actually, so Grandma, what are you doing right now in the morning? Which one of these chores are you doing? Um, I think the first thing is I'm uh uh decorating the restaurant. Um, I'm just trying to, uh, because I took that one over directly from uh, Hoi Tung, I am out there trying to decorate and get things ready. I also figure I can, once the things are moved off of the main floor, I can put them in the lost and found, whatever. Nice. And is there anyone, uh, and I'm assuming you're at the front of the restaurant that you're just like cleaning stuff up. Okay, cool. Uh, is there anyone there with you? Um, I don't know if there would be anyone up there with me. Uh, 
I don't think so because I think that they would both need to be the, all the things that they're working on are in the kitchen. So. Got it. All right, cool. So uh, as you're doing, uh, as you're decorating the restaurant in the front, uh, you notice something beyond the window and you look across the street and you see uh, a figure standing, just hanging out uh, over by chicken under the awning. Do they look familiar? You can sort of tell that it's Chowlock Wai, but he's not doing anything. He's just standing there. Mm. Mm. Uh, I, so I, I think I'm going to shout out for um, Sao Yi. Um, Sao Yi. Yeah, Grandma. Uh, can, can you go go see see what uh uh again I'm terrible names I forgot my names what's the name oh, of the Chow. Chow can Chow. can you see Chow Chow is acting strange uh, can you go see oh. what Chow's doing? He he's just standing there, Grandma. Yeah, yeah uh, that's that's weird. He should be getting ready for the day. Can you you go? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll run over there. So Sam's gonna, they're gonna run over there. All right. Uh, so when you run over, you notice there's something not quite right about Chow. So his eyes are are wide open. Mm-hmm. Looking sort of similar to how the, uh, the officer looked like yesterday. Oh, okay. And he's stiff as a board. The streets are completely empty. Mm. And that's weird, right? Having the streets be completely empty. Yeah. At this time. It's, yeah, it's New York. It's pretty packed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I think Sam probably stops like halfway when they realize that when they recognize that he looks similar, Chow looks similar to Officer Perry. And instead of like running all the way over to him to be like, what's going on? What are you doing? They stop and they're like, uh, Chow? And then if there's no response. Okay. He does not say anything. It okay. It looks as if he's sleeping with his eyes open. <sighs> okay. Uh, Kristen would not do this, but Sam is a teenager. So Sam is going to pick up like some rocks from the ground, like pebbles, not rocks, not to injure and toss them over at him to see if they will startle him or make him move. I'm going to ask you to roll 48. <laughs> I can see this is a bad choice, but I can, I can tell by your face already. <laughs> I got, but Anna, I got Four, four, four fours. <laughs> oh, Dyke. It was oh, nice knowing you. <laughs> no. All right. So um, <laughs> you, uh, you throw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, what, what does the rock do when it hits him? Um, and how big of a rock is this? Is this like so, a tiny? or is it like a big it, like no no no. it's pebbles sam was just grabbing like some pebbles okay like gravel. <laughs> like gravel thank you like gravel to throw you know you would like at a window in those movies where you're trying to get someone to come to the window on the second story like that that's that's what it was he definitely um, notices you oh great i feel like i feel like sam meant to throw it at like his feet um but these hit him in the face not for damage but like i think it's as bad as it can be it just hits him in the side of the face so he gets very angry at this of he and does. he growls and sees you and starts hopping towards you <gasps> yes yeah, and runs back to the restaurant the stress from that interaction takes uh gives you one damage so yeah uh, what that means is I'm going to be copying and pasting a card over your character sheet. Okay. Um, 
So this gets moved up one, and then I'm copying and pasting uh, dazed and confused over your first slot. So now okay. you are dazed and confused, and you have no longer, uh, you don't have access to your skill passing or uh, your item. Get the pad. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, teen, I mean, this is a lesson. Teenagers don't throw rocks at people. This is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so you rush back. Luckily, um, you know, the uh, child stops in his tracks when he reaches the sunlight oh, okay. um, and just like hangs out there for a moment before hopping back. <sighs> yeah. Uh, Sam rushes back in. Um, I, I, is grandma still right there? Mm-hmm. So Sam yeah. rushes back in and like closes locks the door and I don't know what the sign was flipped on, but flips the sign over to the other way, thinking they're closing it. Um, and it's like, grandma, he hopped at me. You threw rocks at him. I was trying, I was just trying to get his attention. He was just standing there like a creep. I was just trying to get his attention. Is that how you get people's attention? Well, is that is that how teenagers get people's attention? Sometimes. <laughs> I don't. Um, I'm gonna go tell mom what happened. Okay. Don't go out there. He's gonna hop at you. I, I'll be fine. There's this uh, this sun. There's the sun between us. I'll be fine. What does the sun do? He stopped at the sun. I assume. I don't know. Do I know? I, I think I know that Jangsha can't jump through the sun. Yeah. Um, Do you never know. listen to the stories I tell you? You tell you them to me in Cantonese. <sighs> Grandma, if you would have told me, I could have stayed. <sighs> okay, don't go out there. He's going to hop at you. I'm going to go tell mom what happened. Sam wanders off. Right. Tell me what. Mom, uh, Chow, I threw rocks at him and then he hopped at me. Why would you throw rocks at Chow? I was, grandma told me to. Why would, why would grandma tell you to throw rocks at Chow? I mean, I mean, grandma told me to, to get his attention. That's what I, I, I don't know. Is she trying to set you up with Chow? Are we trying to take over the family business? I'm not, again with this, I'm not going to marry Chow. I'm not. No, I don't I want don't... you to marry Chow. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> you look real pretty today, Mom. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> Nothing. I just... I'm going to get some water. Tea. Do you want tea? I would love some tea. I'll have some tea. It's one of the tongs. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still on the kitchen floor? Yeah. <laughs> One Sam. face just like greasy now. <laughs> Sam goes to make tea for everyone. So uh, going back to the front, the hours pass and <clears throat> no one comes into the restaurant. It's still empty on the <clears throat> on the streets. Except you hear someone's running down the street. And uh, it's Jimmy Walker, and he's terrified. And it's the afternoon now, and he's trying to find somewhere to hide out. I I open the door and shout. Doesn't matter to him what I shout, because I doubt he speaks Cantonese, <laughs> but I shout to him in gesture. <laughs> he sees you, and he realizes that you are very much alive, and very much not trying to kill him. So he rushes towards you and he closes the door behind him. Oh my God. Oh my God. There are people trying to, there, I think there are people, I don't know. There, there, something, something is trying to kill me. And he's speaking all of this in English to you. Um, Yeah, I I doubt I understand what he says, especially if he's speaking quickly, rapidly, and um, uh, 
Uh, Sam, I mean, Sam can come out. It's been hours, right? So I feel like the tea has been made. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I guess I would, I, I would say to him just quickly um, the, or I try to say to him the, or ask him, uh, you know, what are you, what are you doing out there? What are you, what are you running from? I'm going to ask you to roll four D eights. Actually mm-hmm. it is a three D eights. Three D eights. Yep. Don't roll fours. Don't do what I did. <laughs> I got a three, a five and an eight. Oh, nice. So you managed to convey something to him that calms him down. What do you say to him? Uh, I just say, I, I say you're safe here. Um, like you're, mm. you're safe here. There's, um, and I offer him some tea. There's something about your, um, your grandmotherly charm that mm-hmm. soothes him and he starts crying. He is so moved by what you're doing for him. And then you notice that the green anole that was in your pocket peeks its head out. (laughs) (laughs) No, I want one. Would I recognize Jimmy Walker? You probably would. He's got his campaign flyers everywhere. Uh Okay. But that um, lizard is definitely rushing out of your pocket, trying to get oh. at him. Mm-hmm. Um, I I shout for uh, 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 Tong. Yes. Tong. Yes. What? Uh, uh, make sure we have. I guess we need to make sure we have rice at the doors, and um, we already. Sp- used yesterday's the that that whole 10 kilo bag <laughs> that's right um do we need more do we need more rice uh do we have more rice I, we probably do maybe i don't know we have a little bit what do we have customers finally well there's another man i wait is that who I think it is? And I kind of like grab <laughs> Sam and I'm like, is that who I think it is? And I point. That's J- yeah, that's Jimmy Walker. Go see what he wants. Oh, okay. Sam goes out. Um, M- Mr. Walker, what are you, why, why are you crying? <laughs> I just, I, <laughs> Oh, I was like, <laughs> Here, have some water. It's just so nice. <gasps> Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um, ha- I mean, have a seat. You're our, are you hungry? You're our first customer today, which is really weird. No one's come by. Famished. Yeah. Have, have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you okay? Other than crying over grandma's kindness people are trying to kill me who's trying to kill you he blows his nose (sighs) john smith is trying to kill me the other candidate you might know me from the posters and everything i'm jimmy walker yeah Uh, yeah i recognize you i recognize you yeah and you've you've come in twice before oh yeah yeah i mean you said it was your favorite food in the in the town so oh in the newspaper yeah i said that about a few places yeah oh did it help with business at all though yeah yeah i i I, yeah so uh, thank thanks for that um so are the, is are the, is he trying to kill you now? Like, should we lock the door? I mean, I think I'm okay now. It's just last night I got attacked by all these hopping people, and then I I don't know. I just I just think he's after me. He's got some sort of grudge. Have you seen any of the hopping people today? 
No, strangely enough, now that you mention it, I haven't seen anyone hopping. They can't go in the sunlight. Ah. Yeah, yeah, learned that today. Ah, got Just, it. Like, gives a look to grandma. They give a look to grandma. <laughs> I learned that just today, in fact. Uh, as you're talking, mom, you see a few lizards scuttle in from the back door in the kitchen. I try to look for my broom and just sort of give up and sort of leave the kitchen and close the door behind me. They're all squeeing. The ones that do manage to come in, they're just like really excited to be there. And they're oh. scurrying over into the restaurant. Uh, Mom, are there more lizards? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, my, I, I don't have my broom anymore. What? Where are the lizards coming from? From the back door. I don't know why there's so many lizards here. I'm so I'm I'm so sorry. Our restaurant usually does not like it's really really safe and healthy and does not contain lizards. Oh no, I know. These things have been following me for the past two days, two three days. The the lizards have been following you. Yeah. What do the lizards want? I don't know. I think they just like the vibes. Oh. You know, you could do like a whole campaign thing on that. Like Jimmy Walker, Lizard so, Man. Lizard Man. Might I be like, cool for like, like the younger yeah. crowd. Yeah. Okay. Make sure to give me credit. I will. I could draw up some posters for... Oh, no. I lost my sketch pad. Anyway. I'll yeah, go see sure. if I can get you some food. It sounds like you're acting on your hopes and dreams, kind of. So I will give you 1d8 for an individual time. Would come in handy in case I ever roll those fours. Uh, Sam will go in the back and try to get some food. Nice. The mother um, sauce was done, so you can make anything. Practically Sam, anything. Sam, definitely. Whatever we normally put mother sauce on sam absolutely puts it on something else since they're still <laughs> confused from this morning it's like pineapples and stuff like yeah pineapple yep just pours it over something else and brings it out <laughs> he happily accepts and scarfs the whole thing down um meanwhile grandpa wong appears before grandma wong again <sighs> Dear, hello. Is it next week already? <laughs> no, no. I just came to tell you that um, if you have Jimmy Walker and anywhere the lizards are following him and the candidate's name, the other one, the demon guy, his name is John Smith. I just found that out. So I thought you might want to know. You are so full of useful information today. Oh, thank you. Nothing, nothing that we already knew. Um, by the way, I'd like to introduce you to Jimmy Walker here. Oh, hello. Uh, and the lizards that have been following him. Oh. He was just telling us about his candidate, his opponent, John Smith. I see what's going on here. Well, you well, are welcome. It's good, to see, it's good to see you. Yeah, it's nice seeing you too. And all these lizards, you look like you have a lizard problem. Is it, is it a problem? I, I don't know. What What is this? What's going on here? Are you Are you friends with lizards now? Is this, are you, is this like, like, are you keeping lizards? I mean, I'm not keeping that. Well, I'm keeping one, but, but. You know, they need a lot of stuff. Like you can't just keep a lizard. Like you need to get like a heat lamp. You have to have like rocks for it to climb on, like little mini terrain trees. And they're a lot of work. Uh, I'm much less interested in lizards now. Anyway, I came here to tell you everything that I know, but it seems like you have everything handled. 
Uh, don't forget to use the psychic spells, the spirit paper, uh, if yeah. you need to. The spirit paper. Yeah. That, that's something I should probably know about. Yeah, you got to pin it on, you know, the big bad at the very end. Oh, okay, when yeah, yeah. Close enough, that way you can get rid of everything that's going on. Yeah. Just just pin the spirit paper on the demon's forehead, and then all of this will be done. Okay. I mean, I mean uh, I'm glad you remember those lessons I, I taught you. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm confused. But, uh, okay. Wait, are we winking? I can't. Okay. Is this the thing, <laughs> is this the thing that's happening? All right. <laughs> well, it was lovely seeing you, dear. I must return to my mahjong table. I just forgot to tell you stuff yesterday and just figured you might want to know now. Are you winning at least? Eh. You know that other family, the lambs? Oh. Who cheaters, the whole lot of them. Are they cheaters? Yes. This whole time they told me they were like sharks. I thought they were sharks, like, you know, mahjong sharks. Who knew? Who knew they were cheating? I mean, that's one way of being a shark, I guess. Still cheating, right? I <laughs> I just lost like $50. Do you still use money? Spirit <laughs> dollars. <laughs> 50 spirit dollars. I could be using that money to annoy you. Calling you. You better get back to your game. I will, and I'm going to win my money back now that I know that they're <laughs> cheating. And they just like <laughs> fades back into the background, still in mid sentence. <laughs> Very cool. Um, Grandma, okay. was, were you talking to Grandpa again? Yeah, he's been losing at Mahjong again. <clears throat> and he chose now to t to tell you. Oh yes. Uh, also, also. Um, uh, reminded or he wanted to tell me that uh jimmy walker was being followed by lizards who and his opponent is named john smith um okay and very timely of grandpa and but but also if we if we can find john smith that we can uh we can put an end to all of this grandma you want to kill john smith I want to. I want to see if I can remember what the spirit paper will do to him. He's a demon. Ooh. But he's no. He's a demon. He's a demon. Uh, he, oh. Yeah. Then yeah. Okay. Right, mom. Right. We can. Like as long as we don't get seen doing it, or we could get arrested and then possibly deported and other things. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the last yes. thing I need is your father coming home and saying, look what happened when I left. You got arrested. <sighs> you got. That's true. That's true. Who's going to stay and run the restaurant? Are we going to close for the day? I oh, guess we so. Get, we could try and get him here. And then okay. you'll be stuck Let's with the rice. More lizards are coming towards you under. They're crawling under the front door now. How if many? Can... Like five or like, like twenty? Oh. Okay, like a lot. Like a lot. Yeah. Maybe he might just come here himself. I mean, if he's trying to kill Mr. Walker, he might know about the lizards. Maybe we just open the door and let all the lizards in. Okay. Well, what but... do we have to do when he gets here? Let's. Um, at this point, I sit uh, Jimmy Walker down on a booth or a table, and I just put a big circle of rice protection around the table. He is do not leave. He is happy with whatever you do. <laughs> do not leave here. Okay. And he's just. Like, and I just give a cup words. and be like. I mean, do not leave if you need to use the facilities. 
Those are the, that's, that's the facilities now. This is the facility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I I mean, we're going to try to help you, I guess. Right. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll be right here. So. I put some extra menus as like a protection uh, <laughs> privacy screen. Oh, I thought so you were hoping he would buy dinner when he's done. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to order our most expensive dish. Okay. <laughs> so a few hours pass and we're now in the evening. Um, more lizards come towards the door now. The windows are practically covered in them. Um <sighs> They're just like all over. And the few that managed to come into the restaurant that managed to be in uh, Jimmy Walker's uh, vicinity, they're all just like squeeing with delight. So you have like a bunch of lizards just like hanging out next to him, like chirping away happily. Uh, Meanwhile, Annie in your pocket is trying to crawl out, trying to be one with the other lizards. Um, You hear the sound of... uh, several people marching down the street but it's actually not Mm. marching it's actually several people hopping down the street in unison following the the lizards should have thought about this during the daytime do we have a rooster we probably don't have a rooster it'd be useful if we had a rooster probably don't have a rooster should have gotten one during the daytime would chicken have one Oh. Wait, what? Chicken. Yeah. Oh. The... oh, does chicken have a rooster? Is that what we're asking? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. We could get one from chicken. The we we could also do we have the so there are ways we can keep the Jangsha away. Um and I think if we can keep them away before they get here, we can stop them then uh, the John Smith will have to come on his own. He'll have to come. He'll, Let's he'll just put rice all over our building. That way they can't enter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What if we put like a circle of rice outside or like a half circle of rice outside the door so they can't mm-hmm. they can't get close to the door? And then, yeah. I mean, can demons walk over rice? Probably. I'm not sure. Probably. probably. They just they will find demon. out. So are you going to circle the restaurant with rice? Yeah. 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 So when you do that, uh, you see the Jansha, they're just like hopping, hopping towards your restaurant. And then they stop and they count the pieces of rice. And more and more of these Jansha just stop and count around the circle of rice that you've created. The lizards still manage to pass through, though. They're just lizards. They're regular lizards. But then you hear a booming voice coming down the street and it's John Smith floating. Um, have you ever seen the uh, hush from Buffy? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So it's sort of like that. He looks kind of like that, this guy in a suit, he's terrifying. He's hovering above the, the street and he's just like getting closer and closer towards you. And he looks at you and he's just like, hello, vote for me for the new mayor. Um. No thanks. I I mean, we'll we are willing to hear your agenda. Vote for me. Vote for me. Vote oh. for me. Oh. I don't uh, think that was a interactive moment. I guess not. Uh oh. Vote for me. <sighs> no. Why are my junction not moving towards you? He can say more than just vote for me. Magic. Is this witchcraft? I, I pat you on the shoulder with that answer. That was a good <laughs> answer. Saying <laughs> Cantonese, that was a good answer. <laughs> Very proud of you in this moment. <laughs> he starts speaking in Cantonese too. He's just like, Uh-oh. what did you just say? Um... Would you like some chicken dinner? Chicken dinner. And he pa- he floats above the rice and gets closer and closer towards the restaurant. 
through I the now floor. look at, at Grandma and be like, help. Uh, do, so I, I, I want to try and see if I, so I know that I would need to do the spirit paper on the demon. Do Is there anything else that I know about demons? I want to see if I can remember anything else. You don't know them. much about demons, to be honest. Oh, I don't know much. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, um, uh, so how the spirit paper works is uh, you as a family can come together and uh, it's on slide five, uh, oh, but you okay. can come together on sli- as a family to um, come up with a sentence or a phrase uh, that captures how the family stays strong together. And I will be counting down. I, I as a GM will be counting down backwards from 10. And if you can figure out your sentence or word or whatever within that time frame, then the spirit paper works. But if you don't, then it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. So okay. I am going to start <laughs> counting backwards from 10 in my head starting now. Chicken dinner? I was thinking winner, Chick- winner, chicken dinner. Winner, 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 winner chicken, chicken dinner. dinner. <laughs> winner, chicken dinner. Is that what it's going to be? Yeah. Yes. All right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I am a fan of that mechanic. <laughs> 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 All right. So now... Uh, John Smith is uh, a few feet away from the three of you. Uh, there are lizards everywhere. The Jansha are going to start pouring through this. Uh, they're going to break through this circle of rice soon. Uh, I'm going to ask all of you to roll, uh, what was it, 48? Four. Yeah, Four. 48. If you have uh, individual dice, go ahead and spend those if you like. Oh, okay. Uh, this is cool. this is probably going to be the last scene. Okay. I got the highest is a three because I rolled an eight and then a four, so the four cancels the eight. Do you want to use any of your uh, special abilities? Uh, Let's see um, can I? Hmm. I guess as a psychic because this is paranormal activity. I would like to re re attempt my rolls. Ooh. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead and uh, you can re-roll 3d8s. Okay. Ooh, I got uh, now my total is two sevens and two eights. Hey! Nice. Nice. So you got an eight. Uh, what else? What did everyone else roll? I got my highest is an eight. No fours this time. Got those out of my system. Nice. <laughs> my highest is currently a five. Nice. Do you want to re-roll or use any of your skills to do that? Um, I saw that there's a once per day a player character can re-roll a four on their turn. Yes, the you can. Yes. So I want, I want to do that. Go for it. Okay, so that came up a three, so now my highest is a seven. So. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. So um, let's start with the seven. Uh, so... Uh, how does Grandma Wong try to uh, defend the family against what's going on right now? Um, how does Grandma Wong? Uh, and so the, highest, uh, the person who rolled the highest will be able to pin the the spirit paper. Uh, that okay. would be me. Yeah. So I. Um, uh what do i do i take i think i take out the 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 heirloom i had the the text on shamanism um and i open it up i'm I'm reciting some sort of uh uh prayers from the the text um some things that i remember my my great great grandmother um telling me to to never forget so i'm i'm reciting those phrases right now I think your great grandmother, great great grandmother, actually appears behind behind you as well, and she's just like standing over you, chanting with you, trying to maximize the effect of this chant. Uh, I love it, Sam. What are you doing? Um, I think Sam is standing probably closest to um oh i know okay so because marianne because i know mom is going to try to use the spirit paper um sam is going to move themselves between 
the door where the Jiang Shi are trying to come in and everyone else to like try to protect their mom while they do this. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. They're like yeah. a teapot. <laughs> That's all I need. <laughs> I think the the juncture they like see you, they hop and they like pause momentarily and just like don't do much. They're just like sort of frozen in their tracks. Cool. Um and then finally Ho Tong. How yeah. do you uh how do you pin this? Tell us about how badass you look. <laughs> I think I see my mother-in-law chanting and sort of like uh all feeling that sort of psychic paranormal aura and i feel like that gives me the uh sort of boost to like jump up and like pin it right on his head and be like i must insist you try our chicken dinner <laughs> <laughs> nice john smith falls back and as he does, um, the spell somehow sends him back to uh, back to this other other realm. Uh, you see his body transport uh, into this uh, into this doorway through this doorway that opens up in, uh, beneath him as he falls into it. And there's just like this this abyss that's like in this doorway um, that's like in the floor basically, and. You notice that all the lizards, they just like stop in their tracks and they're just like, huh, what, what just happened? They're like just sort of confused as to what's going on. Um, and the junction outside, they all fall and collapse on the floor. And you notice that their uh, their skin is returning back to their normal the normal color. They're no longer um, they're no longer gray. Their eyes are full of life again. Um, they uh, they're just like also as confused they're just like what just mm -hmm. happened like what what sort of weird thing just happened why are we here and then the doorway closes up but before it does you hear uh grandpa wong's voice saying i told you so <laughs> <laughs> all right and uh that's the end of the night so um, fast forward three weeks from now, let's go ahead and uh, tell, just tell me how your character has changed. So let's, uh, let's actually start with Hoi Chung this time. How has your character changed? Uh, what's new about the restaurant? What's some cool stuff that, uh, that you've upgraded maybe in the restaurant? I, I think um, being able to take care of my family while my husband wasn't there sort of gave me a little bit of confidence otherwise it was usually like oh you know without the husband everything falls apart sort of a thing that was happening and i think because uh everyone had sort of collapsed or whatever and i sort of give them i make like chicken soup and feed everybody chicken noodle soup but a more like um Chinese style chicken noodle soup uh, and it's like oh there was some apparently there was some disease like there's some something everybody caught some sort of a bug here this will help you and so we are now famous for doing chicken noodle soup it's like got little wontons in it so. yeah <laughs> nice. awesome. uh, uh sorry uh Sam what uh fast forward three weeks from now how's your character changed and uh what's new in your life um i think that i think that sam is a little bit closer to um to their mom um just i think there's like that <sighs> you know how, well, maybe you don't know, but teenagers sometimes, right. We all know can be like difficult and they try to like draw away from their parents, right. Their parents aren't cool anymore. They're not connecting, but Sam watched their mom like be a badass and defeat a demon. And so I think that there's like mom won some cool points. Uh, so I think that changed. And then also I think that, um, 
I don't know how much the relationship itself changed with grandma, but I think that Sam um, has started to practice writing Cantonese a little bit. Just, just so that the next card is not disappointing. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And finally, grandma, fast forward three weeks from now, how's your character changed? What are they? Um, so I think that, uh, so I am, I think fast forward three weeks, I am, uh, trying to well i definitely have um a lot more trust i was really impressed with uh my daughter um daughter-in-law but my daughter um uh taking the lead on that and using the uh the spirit paper to to stop the demon and um uh it feels like carrying on the traditions um mm -hmm. So I'm really, really impressed by that. Um, and so I try and uh, stay back and let you do things your way a little more often. Um, and I think that I am working on a card for Sam's upcoming birthday, and I'm trying to write in English in it. Um, uh, happy birthday message. Um, so... Aww. Trying to trying to meet you part way. I love that. So nice. <laughs> and here the credits start rolling. <clears throat> and then after the credits, there's an after credit scene. And it's Gakko. He finally has returned from trying to build a franchise. And he comes to all of you and he's just like, hey, guess what? I just signed this great deal. And it's with this guy. His name is John Smith. But um, hey. I think we're franchise owners now. We have a whole bunch of different restaurants that are opening up like across the country. Here, can I see the contract, please? Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Check this out. Dad. I take it and I throw I throw it. I, I just rip it up <laughs> into pieces what? and put it in the garbage. What what are uh, all right? And it's like we have a lot to discuss, my dear. Oh, okay. Sounds good. <laughs> and fade to black. And that's the end of the game. <laughs> Yay! Thank Yay! you. Oh, thank well, you so thank much you. for everyone for playing. Yeah. That thank was you. great. That was so much fun. Mm -hmm. It was so um, good. Yeah. Yeah. I love, I love the, um, I really love the focus on the, the familial connections really embedded throughout the whole thing, um, mm -hmm. whether you're fighting hopping vampires or running the restaurant. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, thank you um, again. Thank you, everyone. That was Jingshu. Um, so thank you so much, uh, Banana Chan, uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, and to everyone watching, if you would like to play Jingshu Blood in the Banquet Hall, um, check out the link posted in the Twitch chat. I'm pointing down. I think it's actually to the right though. Um, <laughs> somewhere, one of the directions. It's in, uh, it's in a direction. <laughs> it's outside of this window. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're watching this later on our VOD um, or listening to the podcast, uh, you can get more info about our, or in our video description or the show notes. Uh, so let's just go around one last time and plug ourselves. Who are you and where can we find you? And let's start with you, Banana. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you so <laughs> much for having me. Uh, this was so much fun to GM. You were all wonderful to play with. Uh, I hope we get to play something again soon. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Banana Chan Games. Uh, I am working on another game with Austin Knight and Amanda called called Damos Academy, uh, which is hopefully releasing on Kickstarter soon. But we'll see how things go with the whole you know production schedule thing that's happening. Uh, I'm going to pass this along to Kristen. 
Thanks. Yeah. I had such a great time. I, I love this game so much. It holds a special place in my heart. So I was really happy to be able to play it with all of you. Banana again, thank you for coming on and GMing. You're the best. Um, I'm Kristen. You can find me on Twitter at Kristen Snow Jedi. I'm a game designer, writer, podcaster. I do this wonderful show with my amazing co-hosts um, every other Thursday. Um, I also co-host Tabletop Babble um, as an interview um, co-host, and my focus is to interview folks who have gaming-related crowdfunding projects to help hype and boost and get the word out. So you can follow us um, at Tabletop Babble, um, and you can follow my podcast at PBT Players. Um, There's an actual play podcast also created by three amazing BIMPOC folks like this group right here. Um, yeah. And just one more time, Jing Shi, I, um, I always say that I write for games. Jing Shi is one of the games that I wrote for it's, it's in my top favorites because it just, it was a passion project. I love this game. So check it out, buy it, support the designers. They're both amazing. I'll pass it to Miriam. Yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you so uh, Like I am, I was so happy you could come on our show. I always, it is always a pleasure to hang out, play games with you. And it's like, Hey, I hope we get to do stuff in the future. Who knows? <laughs> and, uh, as for myself, um, you can find me here every alternate Thursday, uh, having, playing more games like this. Uh, and uh, also on uh, Utopia, I am the GM of Kahania. We are pretty close to our finale for season two. Um, and uh, that's going to be pretty awesome. And yeah, you can just follow me on Twitter at media underscore junkie. Yes, I said it in one word. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Jeremy. Uh, thank you. And again, thank you so much, um, Banana. I absolutely love this game. Uh, it was my first time playing it, and I'm really excited to bring it to my my friends, to my home group. So um, my my name again is Jeremy. I use they, them pronouns. You can find me um, on Twitter at Hark Morper, um, where I will mostly be hyping up uh, awesome folks like the folks here. Um, I love uh, putting lots of energy into hyping up other um, BIMPOC folks, other queer um, uh, queer game designers um, uh, and content creators. Uh, you can find me also here every other Thursday and guest appearing in surprise places wherever you happen to find me. Um, <laughs> so that is our show for tonight. If you don't already follow please follow us on twitter at tazgeek and consider donating to our coffee so we can afford to keep buying games from rad indie designers like banana um and join us next time for a wonderful show that or another wonderful game um with a mystery guest keep your Ooh. eye on the twitter for details um so until then bye everyone <laughs>